Idle Games TV and we're gonna check out The Rogue with Death. That's right, this is going to be another idle RPG, a pixel idle RPG where you're going to summon, basically hire new and new troops in order for them to fight along your side, to kill a lot of monsters, repeat, repeat, go and even have some trading with death. Death, believe me, with death. You're going to trade gemstones for different kind of relics that you're going to use a lot of relics, a lot. So over here, artifacts, my bad, I started wrong. Okay, artifacts. <laughs> so 50 out of 120, every artifact, different kind of levels. Obviously you're going to be able to increase more and more stats over here, increase attack, increase health, increase speed, increase different kind of buffs for different kind of troops that you're going to be able to hire you're going to have the possibility over here in the power-ups to move portal so this portal is where exactly your troops will summon will automatically resummon when they're going to die you're going to need to upgrade that and move it mile by mile until you're going to be able to move it really, really close to your enemy and that's how you're going to be able to spawn new and new troops in order for you to move forward obviously eventually you will die you will need to reset your progress do more upgrades, get more artifacts, and that's are going to be able to move one more mile, one more mile, and that's it. Right now I'm going somewhere around 250, didn't pass 300, so really sorry about that, because after 300 front I can see over here I'm going to be able to open an event, but besides that similar things will happen. You're going to have troops over here, you're going to be able to hire them, 2 stars, 3 stars, 4 stars depending on the rarity, you're going to have up to 2 adds basically you will be able to re-roll the chances of getting better and better uh, troops over there i won't watch the ads i'm just going to try to hire i will i got the the baddest uh, let's say troops that you can so the swordsman and the ranger are the ones that you cannot get rid of so what i mean by that these are the ones that you're going to start with but you will not be able to pick them out of your deck now if you're going to hit reset i'm going to go to power and return home over here now over here you're going to have the possibility to watch an ad and you will get 20 more diamonds when you're going to return home. You do want to return and not die. After you're going to be able to unlock this feature, try to hit return before you're going to die. Because that's how you're going to be able to get 20% more diamonds. If you're going to die and you watch the ad, you will not get that percent. Please take that into consideration. Over here, the quest part. Basically, this is where you're going to have endless farming. This is where you're going to get a lot of gold coins that you're going to need to summon your troops, but also level them up. Now, you're going to unlock over here, depending on how much did you went into the campaign mode, you're going to be able to unlock over here new and new quests, obviously are more and more and more. Afterwards, you're going to be able to level them up. One trick that I do want to mention, you're going to be able to shorten the time of a specific quest and you do not want to watch this ad for the weakest ones, you're going to want to watch ads. So for example, here it is, Skeleton Hunt brings me 35D, but Ghost Hunt brings me 60D. I'm going to watch this ad for 60, not the one for 30, okay? Try to watch the ad that brings you the most and afterwards you will have a cooldown of 10 minutes. Afterwards you can watch again the ad and with those gold coins you're going to be able to also increase over here the quest. You're going to want to do that repeatedly because that's how you're going to be able to gather more and more and more gold coins to do more and more upgrades. Now over here guys, I have Necromancer and Samurai. Right now I'm going to hit speed. Obviously everybody will gather really really fast over here, will run really fast, my bad. Right now I'm going to try to move the portal as close as I can. And I'm going to go over here and let's see, most probably they will kill him, let's hope so. I have activated my skills over there, you're going to have four main skills. You're going to have a meteorite, you're going to have a buff that increases their damage, a speed buff and a gold buff basically. Now, you're going to want to kill this guy because this is a milestone. Every time you're going to pass milestones, you're going to get a really really nice chest with cool cool artifacts. Obviously it has a percentage. Over here, this chest, you're going to get a lot of uh, vegetables, meat, fish, as you can see, grapes, cabbage, strawberry, tomato, wild mushrooms, uh, vegetables, vegetables, fish, yes, 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 yes. But eventually, here it is, you're going to get an artifact. These ones are good. Next one, this one is good. 
but you will also get artifacts with four stars now these guys have killed that monster so keep in mind eventually you're going to encounter a boss that you will not be able to kill you're going to need to do some upgrades in order for you to move forward afterwards you're going to want to upgrade over here in the mill part now this is something that uh, you will not be able to stack up so the mills will reset every time you're going to start your game progress okay so you're going to want to upgrade at least the one most important thing the wine part increases health of all soldier types upgrade this thing first afterwards to uh, try to upgrade the the speed okay even the health and even the attack but the speed does matter a lot because you're going to have a lot of heroes that are left behind and you will not be able to support your heroes that are in the front now right now i did something really stupid and uh, basically i have the uh, let's say sold some of my troops and i do not have them in my deck so right now i need to go back reset my game progress and buy them again although you can buy them from the shop okay so you can buy them from a shop you're going to go over here in the diamond shop and let me see put real money is going to be up to you tools no in the tools where exactly do you guys are hey, bear with me guys in the troops my bad okay so in the troops over here you're going to see the ones with gems okay so i had crossman sorcerers tank cleric flame ranger thunder wizard cavalarian i had them in my back pocket but i took them outside because i thought here it is watch this ad oh my god this is really important but i'm going to skip it for now because i do not want to cut this and i'm going to edit here it is right now i'm going to die you know why because as you can see the monsters are piling up and my soldiers are not getting the hang of it so i'm going to go here try to watch the ad before we're going to restart i'm not going to watch the ad i'm just going to hit return either you're going to die or either you're going to hit return you're going to go and meet that itself now you're going to have one main lady that says she's sorry that you died she's sorry that blah 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 but i am thinking that she's a traitor you're gonna figure out why okay so okay yeah 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 you're dead again okay bring the diamonds come on come on so here it is you're going to do these upgrades over here i'm going to go back to the troops and i'm going to buy again the cavalrians okay because i need them and I need them quite a lot because those are really important and even the thunder ones and here is why you will not be able on the bottom of the screen you're going to be able to buy them out so samurai will no longer appear in your hiring gacha this is how you're going to be able to exile them you do not want to have only two so I have samurai necromancer and the ones that I cannot get rid of keep that in mind okay uh, the simple knights and the simple cross the guys with the crossbow you can pick out pygmy and farmer but you cannot pick out the other ones so you need to have a higher range so basically five or six types of heroes in order for you uh, to have a chance of getting a better one than the ones with two stars and what i mean by that every time you're going to hit reroll because you do not like the troop that you got you're going to have a higher chance of getting the soldier with two stars or the soldier with uh, the, the crossbow with two stars because you have a low low amount of troops that you can pick up from so for example if you're going to have only four troops like i have right now i have the two with two times two types of troops with two stars and two types of troops with five stars and believe me the ones with two stars have a higher chance of entering your backpack okay so you do want to keep at least five or six so i'm going to rebuy this guy over here i know i know i didn't want to do that but what can you do and this is where i will consume my gemstones for now but try not to sell them okay this is going to be the best tip that i can give you at least at the beginning try not to sell them afterwards you can go over here in the tool department and you're going to want to upgrade the first two things increase your attack and increase your own health try to upgrade those as well because those matter eventually and at least at start you're going to use your own sword and your own health in order for you to progress a bit until you're going to have enough cash to actually hire those troops so please please try to upgrade this as well afterwards try to focus on getting these things over here hunting request and material so hunting request increases coins earned from quests and material increases coins earned from slaying enemies so this is how you're going to be able to get more gold coins and eventually you're going to be able to hire more troops now the grail of return 
that's also a really really important thing and night emblem so the grail of return offers you more artifacts when you're going to hit restart or when you're going to die when you're going to start the game you're going to get only three grails but when you're going to upgrade this thing you're going to get four afterwards five and so on i don't know how much let me know in the comments below if you have played more now the night golem allows you to hire more and more soldiers so right now i can hire 30 soldiers 30 more soldiers now this is the maximum amount. i cannot upgrade over here anymore so please watch out for this obviously you'll have more and more uh, things uh, enhance decrease uh, that one I bought obviously uh, Phantomatic Lobster when obtain an item sometimes get a fourth one okay so sometimes we get a fourth one so I'm going to buy this thing over here and uh, soldiers of effective rank have a 1% probability of spawning at the titanic size now the titanic size offer them more health and more damage obviously so besides their regular size you will have a chance of getting higher Monster, higher troops my bad now the first ones are going to be similar different kind of relics different kind of upgrades that you're going to need to do afterwards restart the game progress try to go forward more miles means more gems more gems means more upgrades and so on at first when you're going to start here it is six chests over here with six different artifacts four stars legend one and this watch this ad okay please watch this ad increase the possibility of hiring a legendary soldier at least i'm going to try to get that but guys try watch this ad every time you have this possibility try not to select one select all okay watch the ad i'm going to hit the legendary prophecy okay because i do not want to watch the ad over here obviously you can watch it and you're going to click your hero and hit march this is how he's going to move afterwards you're going to go on the top of the screen you're going to level him up a bit afterwards go on the power up option uh, my bad quest option go on the top here it is increase the first one and when you're going to reach 10 miles you're going to be able to unlock the next quest afterwards 20 miles the third quest so on so on and so on afterwards over here same idea depending on the miles that you will be able to unlock you're going to be able to unlock also the skills and when you're going to reach mile 100 you're going to have the possibility to return home without dying earn more and more uh, gems that you're going to be able to consume as i mentioned please keep in mind that you're also going to have a shop so if you're going to have gems that you didn't consume when you reset your progress you're also going to be able to get them from here now over here you're going to be able to use also some red gems don't bother and don't use them over here uh, at least at the beginning until you're going to figure out the best way to use them you're going to have also possibilities to put real money it's going to be up to you you're going to have also over here different kind of possibilities to transform diamonds into rubies mm, you can do that if you're going to end up without rubies uh, because you're going to need rubies to obviously pick some of your troops from your deck but that's going to be a different thing over here tools now as i mentioned uh, you're going to have those relics that you're going to be able to upgrade a lot a lot of relics and you're going to have the other part now instantly recharges all skills now this is something that i would use eventually when i'm going to end up in a fight with the boss because you're going to need to reset your skills uh, to have a higher damage and obviously have a higher speed so the heroes that have a low speed a, a low movement that's what i'm trying to say a low movement they're going you're going to want to have them in the front and you're going to want to instantly recharge your skills hit fast in order for them to run faster in order for them to reach that specific boss now right now going to troops hit higher this is a good one for i'm going to keep him this is four i'm going to keep him this is four i'm going to keep him five awesome two so here it is if you're going to have this possibility reroll legend or higher watch this set this will guarantee automatically that you at least get a four star now two stars versus four stars obviously go for the four stars i'm not going to watch the ad but i hope this will help now over here when you're going to see purple this is a random thing you still have a possibility of getting four stars or five stars but you also have a possibility on getting two or three stars depending on your uh, troops that you have in your deck uh, again four stars two stars two stars and as i mentioned you're going to be able to get more and more two stars you cannot uh, let's say get rid of the swordsman and the ranger 
honestly you cannot get rid of them so that's why it will be tricky so that's why you're going to need to have more soldiers in your deck so i have six types of troops over here in my deck uh, most probably i'm going to buy one more i'm going to figure out which one but most probably a stronger one than the samurai or than the necromancer now guys, if you have played this game, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget you're going to have a lot of quests that you're going to be able to complete over here. So don't forget about those. Definitely those are going to be helpful. Until next time, take care. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. Don't forget to reset your game progress by your own, okay? Don't forget to do the upgrades for the meal. Definitely those are helpful. And let's hope that you will drop some comments with other idle games that I do want to make more content because this is where you are at at idle games tv where you can see daily a new idle game guys please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed smash that like button and please be safe out there bye